Hi, Annette. Uh, I hope you're well. I'm uh, coming here to you from Miami to show you how to export all your photos to your external hard drive. Cool. So the first thing we need is the actual drive itself. So I'm going to be connecting uh, my external hard drive. This is mine. Uh, so I'm going to bring it in here and connect it in here. OK. All right, it's lighting up, uh, so I know it's working. Uh, I'm getting this prompt to see if I want to back up my uh, hard drive. Uh, I don't right now. We're not going to be using this technique. I'll say uh, decide later because I may choose to do that at a future date. All right, awesome. So as you can see here on the top right, we have the hard drive. Uh, it says diesel. That's the name of my hard drive. So you may find an icon pop up here similar to uh, the one that popped up on my screen. You may also have other things on your desktop, of course. Uh, this is my desktop, so mine is pretty clear. And it's got some other things you may not have and whatnot. But OK, great. So now with the hard drive uh, available, I'm going to go ahead and look to open uh, photos. So I'm going to open Finder. I'm going to see here where it says devices. It may say something different on your uh, screen, uh, but in English it says devices and it'll say remote disk and then it'll say your hard drive diesel. So it's good to keep that in mind. Uh, but for now, let's go to applications and then scroll down to an application called photos. See if we could find it. Photos. Here it is. I'm going to double click and then that's going to bring up the Photos app for me. Oh, look, a photo of Izzy. How beautiful. Uh, I was looking at that photo. Um, okay, so now that you're here where all your photos are located, I want you to go to, uh, in, in English, it's called Edit. It's the, when you start from photos, it's one, two over. And then go to select all. Select all. So you click here, select all. And it'll pick all the items in your library. Uh, I'm going to click away. If you click in any open space, it'll deselect them. And come back here, say select all. With all the photos picked, you can now go to f File. It's the first choice here after Photos. Go to Export. And then it'll say Export however many uh, items. And it's a 19,000, for me, 19,178 uh, items I have photos, movies, videos, etc. I'm going to go ahead and pick here. And it may take a second. And then you'll get a pop up. It'll tell you photos, what kind, movie quality, what kind. Just go ahead and leave all these uh, options by default. Click export. And then here, where it tells you where to export. Choose your hard drive on the left. Here, if you want, you can create a new folder, or you could just pick here. Uh, maybe it's better to create a new folder. We can call it Photos. And now it's already highlighted for us. And then you can click Export. Now, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to necessarily move all my photos right now at this point, but gives you an idea for uh, what this looks like. Hit export, give it some time. It's going to take a long time. In fact, I would even say maybe set it up to run overnight. Uh, in the morning, you'll wake up, all your photos will be on your hard drive, and you'll be able to explore. So uh, rather than export all of them, let me go ahead and pick a few, and I'll go through the same process. 
export, export three photos because that's what I've picked. The defaults are fine, hit export, uh, click on my hard drive. I created the folder already, so I'll just click on that. I'll click export. Uh, I got this notification that it's completed. Like I said, for you, it'll take a long time for you to do all the photos. But now down here in Finder, you can click Finder. You can go to your hard drive. You can go to the Photos folder that you created. And here are your photos. You can double click on them. You can see them. Let's see. Yeah, and here are all my photos. So you can double click to open a photo. You could also um, use the space bar to do a preview. And that's it. That's how you export your photos from iPhoto to your hard drive. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. And I hope you found this video instructful.